The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the uh, terrific Tuesday, the August 24th edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be, and I mean always be, pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what the bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, well, we've got you covered there, too. Let those fingers do the walking. Go ahead and send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the upside. Dow's up 62, S&P 8, NASDAQ 139, Russell 15. Semis are up 8, Trannies up 51, New York Stock Exchange 98, Composite 64, Wilshire 171, and the spot volatility is up 4 pennies. Not a big deal there. It is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. Goldilocks is up 2 bucks. Silver's up 25 cents. That's 1%. Running right in, it's trying to take out the resistance of its daily profile. Perhaps that's a message to us about Goldilocks. Uh, gold, uh, uh, light sweet crude, I should say, is up a buck ninety, trading out at 67.54. Natural gas back about a nickel in the 30 year treasury, down 21 ticks, trading out at 165.05. So let's begin by taking a look at the markets. We have a question that came in from Eddie. This is Eddie in Boca, and his question, he's got two really, uh, integrates right into taking a look at general markets and what they're doing here. He says the Dow's been range bound on a 10 minute chart. I'd say probably on any minute chart out there, fluctuating 60 points up and down in a rectangular pattern. Why do you think the Dow is having trouble busting it up? Is it Powell's Jackson Hole speech? Absolutely not. What it is, is where the sellers reside. So, Eddie, if we take a look at, for example, the weekly set of profiles out here. So you've got the ES, the NQ there on the left. Then you've got the Dow. That one, and then we have the Russell 2000. One you're interested in is the Dow. And you can see on a weekly basis, granted the week's not over, doesn't matter, but this tells us where the sellers reside. And the sellers are at 35,354. That way, I don't have to give you a BS answer. Uh, before I, I would I would have had to have been a BS answer before Steve had these TAS market profiles. But now we know that you and I, we have a competitive edge out here. We know where buyers and sellers reside. And these profiles are just simply wonderful tools out here. If you take a look at the profiles in the ES and the NQ, their price is well above those. Those are weekly profiles, by the way, that we are looking at. So, Eddie, I hope that answers your question or it should answer your question. Um, will price be able to take that out? I don't know. Certainly the ES and the NQ have. So perhaps the Dow will as well. If we go back to the daily time frame out here, here on the daily time frame, the pattern is in play inside the ES mini. Now, price is rising and doing so with less relative energy. And what that means is that uh, is that. Uh, uh, what that means is that if there's a bearish reversal candle, sorry, I got a text from a, a friend of mine and I shouldn't have looked at it. So, um, uh, but I'm expecting a, a birth announcement uh, here shortly, and that was a different person. In any event, um, hey, stop that. Man, oh man. Uh, so, uh, uh, short of a bearish reversal candle, uh, then the ES mini is going to target the 4600 level. That's the A to B equals CD pattern. The NQ has an A to B equals CD pattern as well, but it also has a consolidation breakout. 
So the A to B equals CD takes you up to 15,438. By the way, that's just the one to one. That does not mean that's where price is going to stop. And uh, there's also a consolidation, that measured move, which takes us to about the 15,500 level. So in the case of both the ES and NQ, they both have road momentum indicator signals triggered. But just being triggered doesn't mean anything. It means just take your umbrella and uh, be on the uh, lookout for rain, which in our case here would be a bearish reversal candle. Then that would generate some type of short-term topping signal. In the case of the Dow, just dealing with these sellers at the top of their weekly profile. In the case of the Russell 2000, it's dealing with these sellers at the center of its weekly profile, which is right at the 2223 level. And 2223 also happens to be the center of the bearish structured daily profile. Let me turn the weeklies off here for you for a moment. Let me get over here. Let's edit this chart. That way you'll be able to see it. So where the so the Russell is right up against a significant group of sellers. The weekly sellers, let me do this here. First, I'll just turn on the top of the profile. There's the top of the weekly profile, 2322. Now I'm going to turn off all of the weekly profiles out here and just concentrate on the daily. And you'll see here at the 2223 level that so the center of a profile is where you have both buyers and sellers, where buyers and sellers believe there is fair value within the range. What's the range? The top and the bottom of the profile. In the case of the Russell 2000, is 2252 at the top, 2137 at the bottom. So you've got both. At this level here, 2223, significant resistance. So, Eddie, even though you didn't ask about the Russell 2000, you're getting a twofer. You got the Dow right here at resistance where the sellers reside, and inside the Russell 2000, those are weekly sellers, and Russell 2000 is both weekly and daily. Now, if price can overcome those levels, that tells you about the move to the next level. The next level in the Russell would be 2252. The next level in the uh, Dow equity future contract is going to be its all-time high. That's the trading high from August 16th. And that's up at the 35,547 level out there. Uh, let's go take a look at our nine panel market update charts. We had a little technical issue with regard to visually being able to see these charts out here. And, of course, to a certain extent, to understand what uh, the major markets are doing, all you have to really do is tune into the 1 o'clock update out here because this sort of covers it all. Uh, if you take a look at the ES Mini, you see that in the upper left-hand hand. You know, we've already covered, really, the top row, with the exception of the spot volatility index. So if the spot volatility index were to close above its 50-day exponential moving average, that's 1779. No, no indication that that's in play, but it could be. You, you would want to be, uh, you, if, if we did see a close above that level that would we we would likely see we might see some type of bearish reversal candle in the es mini we're not there yet but you want to have that down on your pad of paper as something to watch out for the u.s dollar index we talked about the russell and the dow equity future contract sitting where buyers and sellers are so too is the u.s dollar index so the u.s dollar index has a new daily profile the center of which is at 92.98 price is trading right now at 92.97 you think it's sitting there right at resistance? So the dollar US dollar index hasn't really budged much. Neither has gold. Silver has budged. And right now it's trading above the top of its daily profile. The top of the daily profile is 2389. Now you should also notice in the silver chart, that's the center. That's uh, uh, row number two and column number three. Uh, what you should also see, those green lines are the weekly TAS market profiles. That is a bullish TAS market profile. So if silver can close above 2389, its next target is 2434. And if price can close above 2434, we're looking at 30 bucks in change as the next move. Lights we crude, she's headed to 6939. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So let's go to a couple of requests out here. Eddie had a second request, which was to take a look at NVIDIA. So let's get over to our three time frame charts out here. NVIDIA trading above the top of its daily, weekly, monthly profiles. It's a new all-time high, or basically yesterday hit a new all-time high out there. So everything here looks hunky-dory. Let's go take a look at the white background charts. In the white background charts, what do we see out here? We see prices moving higher with less relative energy. Again, a signal that we've gotten the ES and the NQ. But other than that, that's just, just it says just be on the lookout for some type of bearish reversal candle. That is not what today's candle is. And so NVIDIA should continue to move higher. The daily, again, no topping pattern that is in place out here. The same is true for the weekly chart. So that looks very good. And as I look at the monthly chart, uh, that looks good as well. So topping signals out here. NVIDIA should continue to move higher. Eddie, I hope that helps you all. Thanks so much for writing in. I, we had a request uh, for the SMH for uh, Danny from New York out here. So the SMH is Danny's trying to uh, follow the ETF that tracks the semiconductor index out here. So here's what we can share with you at the moment. If we take a look at the daily time frame out here, the daily time frame shows that prices run into resistance, resistance where the sellers are at, and that is at the top of their profile. And that level is 263.96. Now, even though price has not been able to take that out, that doesn't mean that you need to sell. Um, uh, and there's also resistance at the top of the weekly profile. So the resistance range inside of the SMHs are 263.96 and 265.85. If price can clear those level, then it's off to the race. Now, there may be another level here for us to take a look at, that level being the TD9 breakdown area, and that's on the daily time frame chart. So that's 268.71. So even if price gets above these areas where the sellers are at, there's another round of sellers that are sitting at 268.71 out there. So just simply, uh, and price is above its green oscillator and change line, which is uh, one of the reasons why there's no way I can say, hey, 
sell this out here. Uh, I'd have to go to a 30-minute chart and see some kind of breakdown. We don't have that. What would be a breakdown? Well, the first breakdown would be a close below 263.04. And that would just be a little junior breakdown. So the SMHs look uh, strong like bull, and there ain't no bull out there. So I hope that helps you out. Danny from New York. The next request coming in from uh, Dan in Boston. So let's go take a look at that. The ticker symbol here is, uh, can you look at WKEY? We can. Is that Workday? No, that is... Uh, Wise, Wise Key International out there. Okay, Wise Key International. Let me get this going on my other set of uh, tools out here. So here's what we know. Beautiful day today. Price is taking out resistance or is attempting to, Dan, uh, the top of its bearish structure daily profile. So close today as well as tomorrow above 7 bucks. says we go to the next level. Well, where is the next level out here for WKEY? Right now, from a profile standpoint, that next level would be $8.84. That's the bottom of its uh, weekly profile. So it looks like 884 becomes the target. Let's pull over Stevie's white background charts, see what other kind of signal information is out here. And on the daily time frame, not a zilch, nothing. Bar number five of a TD9 count. That doesn't mean anything to you at this stage here. This says price could be targeting 989. 989 is where, on a daily basis, uh, WKEY in Cincinnati would tell you about a change in trend. Now, that's quite a bit higher. You're at 720. But right now, this looks uh, muy bueno. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, the weekly time frame chart shows price is above its oscillator and change line. So, Danny, you'd like to see a close above 690, 689, somewhere in that area out here, um, because that would suggest getting up to that next resistance level of the 884 range. I don't think the monthly is going to give us much. It's not. So not much else really for me to uh, do out here for you with regard to WKEY, but it does look like it wants to continue to move higher. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request. There are other things that uh, folks in the den were uh, taking a look at. So let me just take a look at a couple of those. They weren't really requests out here. One, I believe, is INMB out here. We're just going to look at the white background chart just to provide some additional assistance out here. That additional assistance shows that uh, this instrument, which made a nice TD9 count bottom about a couple of weeks ago, trading inside a bullish structured profile. You know, when price gets above the center of that, you usually get to the top of the profile. Well, it did that yesterday, and it's taking that level out today. That level is 1880. Next stop for INMB to the upside is going to be 2076. And if price can clear that, that says you head back to its all-time high. If we take a look at the weekly chart out here, which had a TD9 count top, pulled back. And where did it find support? I don't really see it. Right where it found a bottom was on the daily time frame when it made that TD9 count. So we know why the bottom is in inside INMB, and it looks like it wants to continue to move higher. The next uh, item that was being discussed, I believe, was Bitcoin. I think that is the August contract. I don't trade Bitcoin. Uh, but here what we have right now going on is potentially a road momentum indicator top on the August contract. I'll go ahead and put the September contract up as well. You can see that price has moved higher to with less relative energy. And does that mean sell? Does that mean that, that Bitcoin is going to crash? No. What it means is Bitcoin is going to get back and likely test that oscillator and change line, which also happens to be the top of its profile. So 46,835 should be a strong level of support. If that holds, then you really have a neutral to bullish signal because key support will have held, but you might have this erosion indicator top. And if price can take out yesterday's high, 58,535 is the number. If price closes below 46,835, then price can move all the way back to 44,928 or 43,021. Let's just see what the uh, September contract here looks like. And uh, give me a moment. To well, let's uh, don't give me a moment. Let's give the chart. So you've got a similar real, a similar set of patterns here on the September contract, and uh, forty six nine fifteen is likely its downside target. Again, the top of the profile and a green oscillator unchanged line. So that's what's going on inside of Bitcoin. Let's see, did I get everything that folks were talking about? I hope so. Um, uh, yeah, I think I did. If I didn't and you have a request, would you be kind enough to go ahead and type that in? Uh, here I'll look for some additional questions. Hector and the fuel injectors. Hector wants to take a look at Newmont Mining. NEM is the ticker symbol. And uh, happy, uh, happy uh, two for Tuesday to you as well. So yesterday's move in Newmont was nothing more than a big, fat, dead kitty bounce. Really? Um, 
So let's take a look. Let me get my other charts up here for Newmont Mining as well. Uh, price is now inside of a brand new daily profile that is forming, Hector. And as long as price can hold 57.71, price is trading at 57.73, uh, this would be a signal that price is likely to go target the 59.27 level. But let's uh, take a look a little bit further, a little deeper dive into Newmont Mining. What we know about Newmont Mining is simply that it has a roads momentum indicator signal. I don't have a bullish reversal candle uh, per se, but nonetheless, price is above the oscillator and change line. It's inside that new profile out there. And so it does suggest that price could continue to move higher out here. Now, you may get today's candle might be a little red candle, red body candle. Maybe we get that bullish reversal signal tomorrow. But is it a dead cat bounce? Um, my aunt, let's take a look at the weekly chart out here, just for the heck of it. I mean, it's got that potential. It most certainly does. However, gold has formed a really nice bottom. I'll tell you what, when we get back from this breakout here, Hector, I'm going to share with you and everybody else in the listening audience, assuming I can find it, a, a study on gold. And, uh, yeah, let me put this into a, a PowerPoint slide so you can take a look at it. And we'll discuss that as soon as we get back from this. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market day. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, we're taking a question here from Hector and Patty, the fuel injectors out there. And we're taking Hector's question was about Newmont Mining. So I'm going to give a broader overview uh, that then will take us back into some of those mining equities like Newmont. So the chart that I have up on my screen, the top portion of the chart is the GDX, the mining sector. The center portion is the uh, gold contract. And the bottom portion is a correlation model. Now, what I have this correlation model set to is an average of three days out here. When the bars are above zero, it tells you about a directional positive correlation. And when they're below zero, it tells you about a uh, an inverse correlation. You can see that gold and the GDX basically trade in the same direction. And if you ask me which one is the dog, which one is the uh, tail out here, I'll tell you that uh, gold is the lead dog. And so the question becomes, did gold form a bottom? Well, there's an A to B equals CD. Let me show you. Let me see if I've got that somewhere here. Uh, I, I know I've got it somewhere. I've just got to be able to find it. And oh, it's probably right here. I can take a look at this. So here you've got an A to B equals CD. Here's gold, silver, U.S. dollar index. So here, as we take a look at gold, you've got a nice A to B equals CD pattern. Uh, this was confirmed with a bullish reversal candle out here. Uh, price is inside its bullish structured weekly profile. The next level of resistance for gold is 1817. And to close above that, 1836.70. Okay, so we've got that established. Let's go take a look at this chart here. This is about um, 75, 85, 95, 2005, 2015, 45 years, 46 years worth of data. Okay, so that's what we're going to look at as soon as I can get this slideshow going. Slideshow from beginning. There we go. Voila. So this is a chart uh, table, I should say. This table goes back to January 1st, 1975. And what it does is it takes every month since January 1975, all Januarys, all Februarys, all Marches, all Aprils, Mays, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Hey, pretty cool, huh? That I know all 12 months of the year. What this chart here is doing, this is giving you the odds of a of closing higher, of gold closing higher by month. And what we can see is we go back to 1975 as we enter the July time period it's well above 50 percent and when we get into September it's a 60 percent chance so you can see we've got this little nice little elevation out there and says hey expect maybe a pullback into October like the general markets and so forth but right now I just want to focus on July August and September and the reason that we want to focus on that is because we've got an A to B equals CD on a daily time frame and on a weekly time frame and then when we just simply go ahead and take a look at the seasonality so to speak on a monthly basis out here we know that what gold is doing Hector and Patty is entering the most favorable, the most favorable time period for gold, at least over the last 46 years. So for those reasons, I would say the answer is no. It's not a counter trend. Uh, it's not a dead cat, a dead, a dead kitty bounce. Uh, and instead, it's something more than that. We should see gold and the mining equities continue to move higher. Now, I say should see. I can't control that. But what we can do is we can do the work to understand whether it's seasonal patterns, then along. Remember, if you get a seasonal pattern, what we're then looking for, seasonal pattern says we're moving higher or lower. What we're looking for is some type of topping signal or bottoming signal. And in this case, we got it, as Tom likes to say, in spades because you got it on the daily and the weekly. So then we go back to where do we go back to? Let's go take a look at the XAU. Let me get that going out here. Uh, XAU. And um, as we take a look at it, so this is going to, uh, been, um, as soon as it finishes populating here. So now we take a look at the XAU. Again, we're looking at the sector. You can see we did get the bottoming signal yesterday. I uh, don't pay attention to these profile levels. They don't, they're not, they're not accurate here for the XAU. So as we take a look at this, Hector, you can see yesterday's gap to the upside, that rising window was a confirmation of that Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. So we've got a nice bottom pattern in the XAU. We've got it in gold on the daily and the weekly. And we know that July, August, and September are the most favorable months for Goldilocks to close higher. Therefore, no, I don't think it is a dead cat bounce, or at least the chart patterns, the correlation patterns are really the ones that are signaling it to me. Now, I'm sharing with you the exact same evidence, and maybe you've got a different way of interpreting it. If so, that's the, that's the beauty of the markets. 
we you, you got to take a look at both sides, right? If everybody just simply took a look at both sides of the transaction, and we can include all the ongoings on politically and so forth, and just everything, if you looked at both sides of the transaction, then you should be able to reach a, a fairly good consensus conclusion. So, Hector, I want you to write me back as I've laid that out to see if, in fact, that did that, or if not, you know, what other question you might have or something that you want to uh, throw to me. So I realize that the bounce, per se, inside of Newmont, and it's pulling back and testing support again, that's the support of the bottom of that uh, new daily profile that's out there. Maybe it didn't look that great to you, but I think overall, um, it looks like we've got a, a bottom that should at least last through sometime in September out there. You also had a second question. I'll try to be a little uh, less uh, winded with regard to answering that, although you never know. Uh, so also, when are the queues finally going to uh, jump off the wall to the downside? Well, so that's another great question. And I wish I could give you the answer. Like I'd say, you know, like at 2.30 on uh, October the 4th. Uh, somebody should write that down on a pad of paper. You know, who knows? It might be. But in this case here, with regard to the NQs, they're very likely targeting the 15,438 to 15,500 area. And I'm not saying that that is where they're going to stop. I'm just giving you the next price target. The only thing, Hector, that gets in the way of that would be some type of bearish reversal candle. Not because a bearish reversal candle would form, but more so because it would go ahead and give us a topping signal. What would be that topping signal? Let me just go ahead and change screens as opposed to dragging stuff all over the place out here. Let's see if Stevie can do this. Uh, I know I can do it, but can I do it accurately? Did I do it? I did do it. Okay, that's a, a, a bonus star. So, Hector, in the upper right-hand side, that's the NQ out here. Uh, what you can see is price is moving higher, doing less relative energy. I also, by the way, happen to have a wave number uh, seven out here, letter G, so we can pay attention to that. Uh, but at this stage here, it would really be the bearish reversal candle that would give us that signal of some type of short-term top. Now, because the profile, the daily profile levels inside the NQ are way down at 15,141, um, you know, that could set up a nice little short-term trade. Are we there yet? We are not. And so I am not at all suggesting that that is the market condition. I'm just letting you know that conditions exist that should we get a bearish reversal candle, that would confirm at least a short-term top. We'd have to see where price is trading in relationship to any new market profiles that could form, the oscillator and change line, which is at 15,246. So uh, it does look like to me where normally we have a market that moves lower into October. Um, let me see here. As long as I've got that screen, if you give me a moment, you know, normally I try to be more more flowing and more prepared out here. But give me a moment. Uh, let me get this new slide going again. And let me pull over a similar kind of a study. Now, you're, you're familiar with the seasonal charts that Stevie does. But this one here is also broken down by month visually. Um, I just want to go ahead. The easiest way for me to do that is to put it into this... Um, PowerPoint. Okay, cool. We're going to a breakout here. So as soon as we get back from this break here, we'll go take a look at the uh, Dow and uh, draw some conclusions. Steve Rhodes with TF. Be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So this is the normal chart that you used to see that you are used to seeing when I present it, which is the annual seasonal cycle goes back 86 years. And typically we have a top, the summer top that occurs in the third week of July. We actually did get a summer top that occurred right around then, but that was taken out, obviously. And then the market typically moves lower into the middle of October. On average, it's around October the 13th. So the thought process here is uh, and we have seen a handful of significant tops in October, right? You can go back, you can take a look out there and you'll see those highs. So the question is, and I don't know if the answer is yes or not, but I'm prepared for the possibility that uh, even though I don't like inversions out here, and so I'm not calling this an inversion, is that the market, instead of moving lower into October, is going to move higher into October. So that's the first chart. That's the, what you're used to seeing. That data, although I don't go back 86 years here, I only go back to 1970. So we're what? 1970, we're 50 uh, years, 51 years. So you can see here that here's where you typically get a nice, the odds of July closing higher than uh, June, you've got about a 63% uh, chance of that. And then we know that markets typically move lower into the uh, October timeframe, September, October timeframe. So we're approaching here September. And September of all of the months of the year, now you probably knew this, but if you didn't, now you can visually see this from 1970. September is the month of the year where only about 35% of the time does the market close higher in September than it did in August. So it could be that what we're about to see is some kind of top take place. I'm not, a, I'm, I'm, you know, and we've got those roads momentum indicator signals that are out there in the ES and the NQ. And it just says to me, we just simply have to pay attention. So at this stage here, Hector, short of, and to finally answer your question, short of a bearish reversal candle occurring, it appears to me with regard to the A to B equals CD and the consolidation breakout that the NQ should target 15, 438 to 15, 500 or even higher than that. So I hope that that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for writing in this next question coming in from I'm not sure DB DBC is what we'll call this individual. And DBC wants to take a look at PLTR. I think that is Palantir or something like that. So let's go take a look at this PLTR. And uh, Palantir Tech is just simply consolidating. 
just looking for insights. It's consolidating with inside its daily profile. Today, it hit that resistance level, again, where sellers are at. So no biggie, 2536, that's the range. It's inside a bullish structured profile. Only becomes a problem for you if you were to see two consecutive closes below 2338. Let's pull over the Palantir charts, the other Palantir charts, see what any other signals we have, if anything. We might as well just start with the weekly, since that's what this is going to sit on. I don't have anything here in the weekly to assist us with regard to what's going on. Other than it's positive that price has gotten back inside its weekly profile. What you'd be looking for here, DB, is a further rally up to 27 bucks. The question is, can it clear 27? If it can, and by the way, that has been an area where the counter trend rallies have stopped. But if price can clear 27, you're looking at 3044 and then 36 bucks. That's on a weekly, so a larger time frame. On the daily time frame out here, just looking for any kind of signals of a top, don't have them. Uh, price is just consolidating between support and resistance, and the price can close above 2536. Price should set its sights on 2692. So, DB, I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. The next question coming from Joe. Joe wants to take a look at Tilray. T L R Y is the uh, ticker symbol. So, let me do this here. Let me get this off the screen. Let me get that going on my other white background chart, and let me get that going on our black background charts or e-signal charts. So we take a look at Tilray. You say, um, is Tilray a buy at 1350 for a long position? 1354 is where it's trading at. So what do we know about its market profiles? First, let's start with the monthly. Both the center and the bottom of the profile are at the same level, and that's at 1067. So Joe, if you gave me my uh, if you gave me my uh, my preference, where it would be a great buy, it would be at that ten dollar and sixty seven cent level. Price is below the bottom of the weekly profile, so that says okay, that could happen. However, price has gotten back inside its daily profile. So what I really need to do out here is uh, take a look at uh, Joe the white background chart, see if there's any kind of bottom signal, and the answer is there is. There's a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom that completed on July 28th. Uh, price heads pulled back into this daily profile. And uh, was so you've still got that. You still have that bottom pattern in. So it just may be in a consolidation. You're near the bottom of the consolidation, which is right around the 1250-ish level. Um, so, yeah, if you want to take a buy, and I'll go look at a short-term time frame chart. But, yeah, I can see that. Uh, know that you've got a battleground at 1412 and one at 1531. But has Tilray formed a bottom on the daily time frame? It has. What might it lead to? Maybe a consolidation, maybe something more than that. But yeah, it's certainly not an A sell signal. Now, interestingly enough, the weekly, unfortunately, it's not it's not helping us out. You've got a TD nine count pattern that may form this week. In order for it to form this week out here, price on a weekly basis has to close below. 1461. Is that right? Did I say 14? Uh, yeah, 1461. But it also not only does it have to close below that, it needs to spike lower than last week's low. And last week's low out there was 1255. So I'd love to see a TD9 count bottom to go along with that Rhodes Momentum indicator bottom on the daily time frame. And we don't have that right now. So maybe uh, someone is saying, um, Nope, they're not saying no. They're not saying that. So let me look at a 30-minute chart out here. And we're just looking to see if price has busted through a key level of resistance. It has not. The key level of resistance is 1388. So you're looking at 1350, 1388. I'd rather pay uh, 40 cents more uh, to get that confirmation. So I'd say sit tight. Uh, if price closes above that, you can chase it if you want to. But ideally, you'd see Tilray pull back and create a nice TD9 count bottom on the weekly time frame as well. So thanks so much for writing in. I hope that helps you out. And uh, let's go out to Denver and speak with Ron. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Great, Steve. Uh, first of all, I wanted to compliment you. Uh, I think it was last Thursday you said Amazon was at a bottom. And uh, I, I sold some puts and tried to buy some calls, but I missed the calls. But my Puts. I sold a 385 for 240. I did a couple of those on a spread, and they expire Friday on, on Amazon. So that's. Excellent. But anyway, uh, and, and of course Amazon now is uh, 3304, and I sold with uh, what was it 285s, 2285s. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, cool. I, I wanted to see what you thought of STEM, S-T-E-M. Sure. They do. Uh, so tell us what you're doing here and how I can help you. 
Well, I'd like to spike some calls and sell some puts on STEM. Okay. I think uh, I know there's uh, revenues are really zooming. They do energy storage. So they sell. They work for utilities and large corporations. And, Okay, so let's take a look at STEM. I'm just going to start with the white background chart here for a moment. Um, and you're going to have to hold on because we're going to go to a hard break here um, in just about 15 or 20 seconds. So the question is, do I have some type of bottoming pattern on a daily time frame? And I don't. That doesn't mean that hasn't bottomed. It just means that I don't have a bottoming signal. And price right now is at resistance, which is at 2447, basically, which is where price is trading. So uh, do me a favor, Rod. Hold on. We'll come back from this break. We'll use the last two minutes to rip apart STEM, S-T-E-M. Steve Rhodes with TFNN and Ron in Denver. We'll both be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we're going to be taking a look at STEM in a moment here. But, Ron, uh, on this chart here, I just wanted you to understand, and, and you know, it was a very kind compliment with regard to Amazon, but it was really the chart pattern that was the one that was generating that uh, bottom signal inside of Amazon last Thursday. That was a TD9 count. And then the following session, a bullish, um, a bullish structured uh, daily profile to suggest that price should make its way to 3321, 3358. So we had the patterns going for us. 
I had mentioned before we went to the break that inside of STEM, I don't have that pattern on a daily time frame. And so, you know, price right now is trading into a potential resistance, the top of its daily profile, 2443. You're about 10 cents above it. Even if price closes above this level, it's not clear to me whether it's going to be able to take out the downdraft from August 12th. So it may just be you're looking at getting to 2587. That's likely not going to set up a good trade. Maybe price could get all the way down up to 2664. But without having any kind of real patterns in place out here, I, I struggle to try to find a, a similar type of a good trade for you. Um, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that, you, no, I appreciate it very much. And, yeah. and yeah, Amazon at the time was 3185 and that's how I sold the puts, and I bought a 3180 to cover it, and, and I got $240. It expires Friday. Right. So right. as long as it stays above 3185 I make well, it should, $240 Amazon should, times two. Yeah, Amazon should continue to move higher again. It's it's resistant. So in STEM, I just don't. Uh, I'd be, I'd be, I'm not gonna. I'd be disingenuous if I could come up with something there for you. Okay. And I'm just not into doing that. So, right. um, in with Appreciate regard to that. Amazon, very much. Yeah, yeah, with regard to Amazon, thirty three twenty one fifty one. So you're not that far away from resistance there. Uh, and I don't, okay. I don't know whether the price will clear the top of that profile or not. It could hit it and then pull back a normal retracement. So uh, just keep that in mind on that trade as well. Ron, always good to hear from you. Thanks so much for calling in. And, uh, folks, stay tuned. We've got two more great hours left. Your favorite polar bear, David White, with the Power Trading Hour. He's up next. Tom O'Brien to take us on home. I'll be back with you on wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks. <laughs>